Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles have been a complete bomb in terms of sales worldwide. They haven't worked, no one's bought them. But you know what? Car companies just keep, they keep on pushing it. You know, Toyota and, and Hyundai, they're saying, you know what? Maybe, maybe it's because they were sedans. and Maybe it's because of the, the shape of the vehicle, people didn't like the design. So you know what? We'll design a way better one and we'll try again because you never know. We only wasted billions last time. Man, maybe we'll waste another couple of billion this time and it'll pay off. Maybe it'll work. You know what? This new hydrogen powered vehicle, hydrogen fuel cell powered vehicle actually looks really good. Hopefully they turn this thing into an electric car because honestly, the hydrogen, the hydrogen thing is, it's gonna, it's, like, it's gonna fail again. I think we all know that, right? Here are the details. Hello, my friends. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. And you know what? I, I think that um, one of the big advantages of having an EV now, so many millions of people have an EV and they, they use their solar system to charge their EVs. A lot of the power from theirs. I mean, for me personally, I don't need to use supercharger stations ever other than doing road trips. I can I get more than enough energy to power my electric car from the sun. Uh, and partly that's thanks to the fact that I have a new modern solar system. So if you want to get one as well, I'll put a link in the description below to Resync Solar, who installed my system. The efficiency is amazing. It's better than I expected it would be. And of course, the efficiency of your solar system will depend partly upon the quality of the components, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, Hyundai have just revealed this hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, which I personally think is at least the front of it. It looks fantastic. So I really hope they don't just turn this into a hydrogen vehicle alone because obviously it's going to fail again. But anyhow, the new Nexo hydrogen fuel cell is what you're looking at. This is called the Initium concept, a Latin word for beginning or first. Pretty sure this is not their first rodeo, but anyway, they've called it that. The concept will preview a production model that will launch globally in the first half of 2025. Globally. Global fuel cell, hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. Just want to tell Hyundai, we don't have any hydrogen refueling stations here in Australia. I think we have three. No one's going to buy them. Uh, just, just a memo, most countries are in the same boat. I mean, yeah, if you live in California, there's quite a few of them. They don't work, but, you know, sometimes they work. Outside of California, there really isn't any. It's unclear whether or not they'll, it'll call, they'll call this vehicle the Nexo, but it's meant to be an update to the Hyundai Nexo. The Initium concept is fitted with a next generation fuel cell EV powertrain comprising large hydrogen fuel tanks. So much larger ones. So basically this would be more effective in the war in Ukraine. Obviously Ukraine have begun using the Toyota Mirai as a bomb. Seriously, I'm not making that up. It's true. It's a very effective bomb. So this might be a more, a more effective bomb. Anyhow, apparently it has a higher output fuel cell stack a battery pack with enhanced capacity and an electric motor producing only 150 kilowatt of power. For context, the existing Nexo uses a hydrogen fuel tank capable of storing 6.33 kilograms of compressed hydrogen. Uh, it has a 95 kilowatt hydrogen fuel stack and a 1.56 kilowatt hour battery plus a 120 kilowatt electric motor. So this new version has 30 kilowatt more power, so about 40 more horsepower. Um, but other than that, it sounds honestly similar to me. So performance times. Hyundai says it'll do zero to 100 in eight seconds. It's certainly no rocket ship, but it's probably built more for efficiency. 80 to 120 takes six seconds. That's quite a long time. And they're targeting a range of around 650 kilometers. The production version of the Initium concept between refuels says that it'll get just over 650 kilometers. The Nexo has 666 kilometers of range according to WLTP testing. So it doesn't actually get any more range than the previous generation Hyundai vehicle. However, it does look a lot better. I have to admit, it looks significantly better. In fact, I quite like the looks of this. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Anyhow, according to sang Yop Lee, the executive vice president of Hyundai and Genesis Global Design, this design theme embodies the character of the company's HTWO hydrogen value chain business brand and pushes steel formability into art. I'm a little bit confused. I see no steel in terms of, yeah, whatever. Anyway, maybe someone can explain that to me in the comment section what they're talking about. But what I'm even more confused by is his statement. Hydrogen value chain business brand. Now, if hydrogen was about value, 
right? If this was about creating a value-based business, well, they've been at this for a long time and um, there's still not much value being created. A lot of money being spent. Anyway, one thing that kind of stands out on this car though is it has 21 inch alloy wheels wrapped in low rolling resistance tires. It's definitely a mall crawler, 21 inch wheels. I mean, I find those preposterous and the tires are gonna be super expensive, but maybe this is just like the design, you know, the, the look of the, the show version of the car, not the real thing. How big is it? Apparently it'll be about the size of a Hyundai Tucson. While Hyundai hasn't shown any images of the interior, the production version will be apparently, they say, um, spacious enough to offer a large living room-like space in the second row. The rear doors are claimed to open wide for easy ingress and egress, and there's reclining rear seats. It has a vehicle to load. Um, I'm not sure how that would work considering it's got a tiny battery pack, but maybe they can recharge that battery constantly by running the vehicle, running the hydrogen fuel tanks. I'm not sure how that works. It does have a 220 volt household outlet as well. Hyundai claims the Initium concept has been developed to achieve a top tier collision and driving safety performance globally. So this is a real product. This is not some, some sort of one-off concept. It features a reinforced multi-skeleton structure at the front, a side body structure, as well as nine airbags. To give you some context here. Hyundai have been working on fuel cell vehicles now for 27 years. So maybe in what, 30 years, it'll start taking off, maybe? Yeah, let's be honest, it's not gonna happen. That ship has sailed. Even though BMW, Hyundai, and clearly Toyota still believe hydrogen vehicles are the future, consumers don't, clearly. Now, guys, I've just done some research while I was, after I've been making this video, there's actually nine hydrogen refueling stations here in Australia, but they're not all open to customers. Some of them are just um, government business stations. You know, I think what's as cra sort of equally crazy is companies doing things like this. I believe California, one of the one of the cities in California just purchased 100 hydrogen powered buses. Why? What are they going to do with them? I mean, what's wrong with an electric bus? It's much better. It makes more sense. You can charge it anywhere. Anyhow, in my opinion, hydrogen cars are in a massive waste of resources and investment. All, that, all those resources and investment could be piled into EVs and EV battery charging and just really you know, renewable technology, EV efficiency. Hyundai could be really, really doubling down and focusing on making their EVs better than everyone else, but instead they're getting sidetracked with this stuff. A big part of the reason is because the government in, in, uh, in Seoul, in South Korea, has really heavily invested into it and subsidized this stuff. So I think companies like Hyundai and Kia still feel like they should be, you know, pumping out the product to kind of justify all that money being spent.